All right, the Viceroy is coming back. You can see him on the road. Come on. Oh, is, what is that? Okay, the Viceroy's back. I just saw a pipevine swallowtail, which is really weird. Okay, guys. Let's see if I can get you some footage. It's a female Viceroy. I believe. And that's what they do. Awesome. Let me see if I can get a little closer. I'm going to quiet down. She's beautiful. Okay, so she's laying eggs. Let's see if I can get... Her on film laying egg. So, guys, the, the viceroy down here in South Florida, as you can see, they're really brown. They mimic the queen because the queen is a toxic butterfly that lives down here year round, not the monarch. Rest of their range, the viceroy mimics the monarch. Oh, it's so cool. I'm trying to stay super still so she doesn't scare. And she's just, she cruises up and down the road in a straight path, guys. It's weird. Right, I'm going to bet she comes right back. See how territorial they are. She's, she's traveling east on this road right now, literally straight down the road. She's not going off the path. She just went off the path. Uh, all right, I'm going to hang out here for a minute and see if she comes back. I'll bet she comes right down this path again. All right, guys, way up ahead. There is definitely a deer crossing the road right there in Broward freaking County. I just saw two of them. So... There are deer in Broward County, boys and girls. Didn't know that. This was a willow tree. We saw a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, we saw a couple of viceroys on this same tree yes, the other day when we put the traps out. It was a beautiful female. Let's see, I want to try and get some footage of a wild viceroy today. Let me see if I can get that for you guys. Guys, I just saw a buck. There, look, there's the buck. Look at that. There's the buck. Let's see if I can see his antlers. Oh, he's a big boy. There he is. Very, very cool. Yeah, he gone. He's in the middle of that grass field now. I don't, definitely not seeing him there. He was, he was right in this little patch of vegetation right here, guys. And I rolled right up on him, and then he started running. Scared me, almost fell off my bike. <laughs> okay, plenty of deer. Try and get you better images of these deer that's so funny they're very skittish not like in the keys yeah, he's looking at me i'm looking at him that's so funny they're a lot bigger than the keys too there's a cool hawk squawking up here there he is and we've got the little blackbird or cowbird or whatever chasing them. It's so cool to be able to get out away from everything and, and actually just hear and see natural things. You know, even though it's sort of like a drainage ditch 
of sorts. Oh, there's a hawk. Comment down below if you know what kind of hawk that is. Where is it? Doing the best I can with my uh, iPhone, guys. Okay. Onward. little trails all right that's pretty cool uh let me know if you know what kind of flower that is guys looks like an orchid to me kind of growing in the ground ground orchid or something i'm not sure i'm not the biggest uh expert on that kind of stuff Unless it pertains directly to butterflies and moths. Oh, there's a Palamedia swallowtail. Right there, guys. Look at that. What? Big female, guys. I'm going to try and get you some good video. <gasps> that was so cool. Let's see. Palamedes female in the wild, guys. There she goes. Well, she came in right at the right moment and gave me a little show on those orchids. I didn't know that swallowtails used orchids for nectar. That's a big one, too, man. That's the first butterfly of the day. First butterfly of the day is a Palamedes swallowtail female. Nectaring on orchids, how cool is that? Bunch of passive flora back there, I can see it. There's gonna be zebras and probably Julia's. Yeah, there's, a, there's another zebra up there. There's red bay, guys, okay, so foliage. A uh, lot of exotics, but there is red bay. There's a red bay tree, red bay, red bay, red bay. There's some Malaluca, which is an exotic, terrible thing. Uh, here we have some kind of a holly, I think. Uh, wild coffee. Airplane. Um, yeah, there's, there's some willow. Uh, tamarind, I see tamarind. Let me give you guys an up-close picture of this orchid. Maybe we can do a... Uh, beautiful there's always white peacocks there's a zebra there's always white peacocks and zebras you know South Florida technically I don't consider it butterfly number one until I find something other than a white peacock or a zebra but if one's gonna cooperate with me, I'll definitely try and get some images. I'm trying to creep in on this guy without my shadow interfering. Oh, there he goes. Okay. That's way more than a peacock normally cooperates, guys. <sighs> okay. So, I do not see the Viceroy. There's not a lot of butterfly activity, guys. I mean, usually this place is popping. Uh, we got white peacocks everywhere. I've seen a few Palamedes. I've seen a few zebras. And I saw one Viceroy. But Viceroy is the one I wanted to cooperate with me. Alright. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
Wait, are you a male or female? I think it's a male. Yeah, it's a male. Shoot. I thought that was going to be my girl. I was just getting ready to leave, too. Yeah, the males are smaller. The abdomens are much smaller, and they got the little pointy abdomen instead of the big round abdomen. Number two. Be a female, be a female. I think it is, I think it is. Shh. Oh, it's another male. Is it? Ah, uh, uh, male. Yeah, it's male. Hmm. <laughs>